In this episode, Jet Guillotine, Tank Warfare, Old But Gold, Spider Dance. Most Raiders are bloodthirsty maniacs, we all know that. But there are some that are pure pros. They dispatch their targets quick and clean. Well, mostly. Nikita Vorobyov built a jet guillotine on wheels, replacing the blade with rockets. In some ways, this is even better than the tool the French originals used. Most certainly a lot more effective. What can I say? Freedom, equality, loot. This video yields Nikita 1000 gold in a spot in this episode of Crossout Show. Nicely done. Hovercrafts are anything but tough, usually. Alexander Guzanov begs to differ. What can be done to improve otherwise flimsy hovers? Stick some tough module to it, of course. The chosen module is a tank thread unit, and I have to say, this uh, kind of works. At least well enough to move out of cover and fire without fearing of losing half frontal side of the vehicle to incoming fire. Simply awesome. Made on the budget, too. Just think about it. 1000 gold for a blueprint. You can try that, too. Now, please tell me, how good you think are Cyclone autocannons? Players often say that due to its low rate of fire initially, the damage output is not that great, as the enemy can quickly make it for cover or return fire instead. So, looks like this thing is not for everyone. Crazy Helix TV wants to change your mind and prove his point by destroying the entire enemy team single-handedly using nothing but his Cyclones. He's got a point. Well shown, Crazy Helix. Very well. Your gold is out. Right. We got Cyclones out of the way. It's time to compare it to the classic example of autocannon production. Kfei Seyrath wants to help us out. He bravely defends his home base from the enemy. An ensuing dance with death is beautiful to watch. Now add six enemies to the dance. Who's gonna survive this one? Watch this video to find out. Okay, looks like it's a good time to send some gold to the winner. Tell us in the comments which autocannon you like better. Now it's time to pick the best comet of the past week. Tomas Jacob says, Who would win? A racing hover with tons of boosters? Or some speedy boy? Please respond to your original comment with your in-game nickname and email address so we can send you your prize. Please be advised that the prize may take up to 5 business days to be added to your in-game account. Thank you for watching this episode. Okay, let's recap the three simple steps on how to submit your video to Crossout Shell. Step 1. Record and put together your video. Attention! The submitted video must be made by you, must be published for the first time, must have public access for viewers, and must not violate any copyright laws. Step 2. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button below this video. Step 3. Upload your video to YouTube and send us a direct link to Crossout Show at Gaijin.ru. The covering email should contain the desired category for your video, your in-game nickname, and the email address registered with your game account, so we can send you the reward should your submission win. Every week, four submissions will win 1,000 gold. We will also be awarding the best comment of the week with 300 gold. So, get your engines revving, make some content, send it to us, or simply watch and comment. Either way, we've got plenty of gold to go around. See you in the week.